Let's start with a few warm-ups and a little back work today. Okay. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lining up. Get that core activated with your ribs towards your spine and up, and your shoulders back and down. Relax your arms, stretch your ground to the ceiling, spread your toes. Take a moment and breathe, and exhaling any tension. And just bring your focus inward with the breath, coming into your yoga frame of reference. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then exhale the hands behind you, press them to the floor as you clasp the fingers. And stretch your head back in the way as you lift your heart. Don't lift your chin too high, and then pivot at your hips, come on over. Hands up toward the ceiling, getting those shoulders moving a little bit. Spread the toes, lift the sitting bones, get the legs stretched a little more. And then with the knees slightly bent, and then your chin a little bit in, work your way all the way up, and lift your heart. So keep the chin slightly down, don't lift it toward the ceiling, so you're still stretching through the back of your neck and your upper body back bend in here. Inhale, upright, exhale, release. Take a moment, feel your spine getting a little more activated. And we'll do the same thing. Arms reaching up, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, keep those shoulders down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you as you press the fingers to the floor. Lift your heart, stretch your head back slightly, and pivot over. And again, hang as deeply as you like. <clears throat> and coming in toward your legs, hands up toward the ceiling or further toward your head. And don't forget to breathe. And again, bend your knees slightly as you work your way back into the upper body back bend. Chest high, shoulders down, stretch your spine, and breathe. And then inhale upright, releasing into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that through your whole upper body and spread your toes. So our next is our side stretch. So make sure on this one you don't twist. We want to make sure we're getting those ribs opening. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp them and bring them back by your ears. And then stretch up, keep the body straight, and lean to the side. So push the front you're leaning away from down to get that extra stretch out through the fingertips. And just feel those words stretch. Make sure you're not leaning forward. And breathe. And then inhale upright and switch your other hand to the front. Again, arms by your ears, stretch everything along and lean to the other side. No twists, so make sure you're not leaning forward. Reach the head and hands one way and the foot down the opposite. And then inhale back to the center, keep the shoulders down and the arms out and back to your sides. Feel those ribs a little more open, side stretch after our lateral spine motion. And now it's time to twist. So really get those bones stretching apart through your spine so there's room to move. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, and then clasp your elbows and bring your arms next to your ears. Sitting bones one way, crown the opposite, and exhale to one side. Take a breath, exhale over, and just relax in your twist forward position. Lift your sitting bones, relax your body, and don't forget to go. Inhale, work your way all the way up in the twist, and only the upper body goes into the back bend, not the lower back. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. 
And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms. And again, lengthen through the spine, exhale, turn it over. The breath in, pivot over as you exhale. And again, just hang, breathe, lift your sitting bones. See how that feels on this side. See if the weight is still on both feet as evenly as possible. And then in the twist, inhale your way up and into that upper body back, then one more Shoulders down, chest high, stretch your head a little bit. And on an inhalation, come on up, turn to the center. Bring your arms up, shoulders down into extended mountain. Center into your feet. And then swan dive forward. Pivot at your hips and stretch out halfway down. Exhale, drop into ragdoll. And if you want, you can bring your hands behind your legs and pull them out of the way. And then arms back to the center. Chin slightly in, and again, just wind from the bottom of the spine into the mountain pose. Circle the shoulders maybe a couple of times just to get that area released a little bit more. Take a breath, exhaling any tension. Let's move to a wall or a door, something stable, and stand about a couple of feet in front of it. Now put your hands on the wall right in front of your shoulders. Spread your fingers and then lift to the top of your fingers with your hands up one level. And then take a good step back and keep your hip width apart. Head reaching up toward your hands and then let your ribs sink down and your sitting bones back. So as you go into that upper body, sink. Back down. Just keep pushing those hips away from you. So get the ankles and knees and hips as aligned as you can. Ribs dropping, just moving toward the wall, hands up and up toward your hands. Just gently pressing into your wall with your hands or your knees. Take a breath. As you exhale, maybe drop even deeper into that back bend. And then bend your knees and walk toward the wall with your chin slightly in. Drop your arms back to your side and come into your mountain pose on the mat once more. Bring your hands to your heart, shoulders down, look at your fingers, and inhale them up. Lift your heart, pull the thumbs back, stretch your head, exhale, hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, drop in your ankle. Take a moment there, just breathing, lifting your sitting bones, straighten your knees as much as you can, and then slide your hands up under your knees and make your knees, elbows, and spine straight. Keep lengthening, shoulder blades towards your waist, crown and sitting bones stretching apart. And then bend your knees, exhale all the way down to infinity. So hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor, coming into child pose. Let's transition. Take a breath. Open your chin slightly, let that neck stretch a little more. And then inhale, sitting up and slide off. Come into a cross leg position. But of course, we do that habitually, so switch the legs and do the other side. Sitting bones slightly behind you and crown toward the ceiling. Shoulders back and down. And take a moment just to breathe, getting situated and comfortable. So we'll work the neck a little bit first. So bring your chin into your throat center and let the back and the neck get a good stretch. Take a moment, just breathing. Let that head be heavy. Keep the shoulders over your hips. 
the core activated, supporting your spine. And we're just stretching the back of the neck. And then bring your hands one at a time to the back of your head. Don't press, just add a little weight. Feel that stretch, maybe enhance a little bit more. Take a breath. Exhale, let that chin sink even further. And then release your hands and tip your head upright. Take a moment there, shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling or activated, just feeling your spine and what's going on as that circulation in the neck area increase. And then lift your chin just a little, feel the twine of your throat stretch. Keep the shoulders relaxed, move your jaw around. So side to side, front to back, scrunch it around. Just feel that throat moving. Stretching differently. And then draw back to neutral and tip your head up. Remember, keep always stretching through the back of your neck. And we'll do our little side to side motion. So let's switch our legs first for a little balance in the bottoms and relax the shoulders. <clears throat> We're tipping one ear to the side. And just letting the ear come down toward the shoulder. It won't make it, don't worry. Keep both shoulders down. Take a moment to breathe and feel the stretch on that opposite side. And then to enhance that a little bit, bring the hand you're tipping toward it on the outside of your head. But again, don't push, just add a little bit. Feel that stretch get a little bit more intense, but not too much. If that feels good and you want even more, take your opposite hand to the floor next to you and just gently push either the fingertips or the palm down. And exhale. Feel the stretch. You let it relax. And then release your hands and tip your head up and feel the difference. Remember, that difference is how you notice your yoga practice working. And we'll do the other side. So go ahead and tip your ear over. And again, just relax into it, breathing, and exhaling tension. Let it go. Relax as much as you want and need. Just feel that going on with the shoulders both dropping evenly toward the floor. And then take the hand you're tipping toward onto the outside of your head. And again, it's just adding weight, not pressure, so don't push. We never over want to do, especially in these delicate muscles around the neck. And exhale. Feel it maybe stretch a little more. Stay there if that's good, or add the extra heel, pressing down just gently into the neck. Take a moment breathing. Just let things stretch naturally. Don't force it. And then releasing your hands. Take your head back upright. <clears throat> Take a moment. Feel that extra energy through the sides of your throat and neck. And then bring your chin <clears throat> into the jugular notch, base of your throat. Feel the back of your neck start to stretch a little bit. And then rotate your chin over toward one shoulder. Lift the chin and look up toward the ceiling. Roll into the middle, lifting the chin all the way to the center. And then over the opposite side. Bring the chin down to that shoulder. And then roll it back to the center. Same thing one more time. Roll it to the side, up to the ceiling, and to the center, looking up. Keep stretching through the back of your neck, throughout your circuit. <clears throat> As you bring your chin to the other shoulder, and down. <coughs> Excuse me. One more time through that circuit, rolling the whole 
Kitchen in Mac as you go through the circle. As we come back to the center this time, just pause and we'll go the opposite way. So chin over to the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, looking overhead with the chin in the middle, to the other side, down to the shoulder, and in toward the chest. Roll it around. Lifting, keep stretching through the back of your neck as you complete that circuit. And we're going to lift that to the center one more time in that same direction. Slowly circling around. And coming back to the middle. Keep your head upright and lift your legs. Bring the feet out to the staff position at the end of the room. Core active, sitting bones slightly behind you, shoulders back and down, reach the crown toward the ceiling, and use that core for support, rolling all the way to the floor. So as you get back down, just take a moment, recline the integration, bring those shoulders down to the floor. Keep up with the part, just toes relaxing up toward the ceiling slightly. Now move your head side to side. Get another little release through the neck. Bring you back to a neutral position. And then take your hands, palms down, with the thumbs underneath your hips. And the palms flat on the floor. Pull your elbows way into your sides. And then push into your palms and forearms and elbows. And lift your upper body up, looking at your feet. So you're supported on your forearms and your elbows and your palms. And we're going to lift the ribs, lift the heart, and look up, stretching that back of the neck and pushing the head away. So, upper body back bend, and then if it feels right for you, lift the heart a little bit more, tip the chin a little further, and see if you can bring the top of your head down to the floor. So if that works, fine. Just bring it all the way down onto your crown. If it doesn't, you can stay on your arms and elbows. And if it does, you can release your hands and bring your arms up into prayer position above you. Heels of the palms down onto your chest, if you like. And just arch up from your sitting bones to the crown of your head in that back bend. So a nice upper body back bend, releasing and relaxing through those legs and hips, just sinking the lower body into the floor. If you've got your hands up anytime, you can bring them back down, back into your support position, thumbs underneath and elbows down, supporting them. Keep lifting the heart, lifting the chest. And then to release, bring your hands down if they aren't already, forearms on the floor, support with your arms, tuck your chin toward your chest, lifting your head, and roll your spine back to the floor, coming all the way onto your back. Take a moment again as you're there. Sitting bones toward your heels, heels drawing up toward your hips. Press the back gently down, draw the knees up toward the foot. Wrap your arms around, bring your head up, give yourself a good appreciative hug, and let that back of your body stretch in that forward bend. Take a breath. That's it. Just give yourself a stretch. And then bring your head back down, hands to the floor, feet to the mat. Straighten things out. And then bring the knees up toward your heart. Pull your right knee in, extend your left leg out, and stretch. Just a good stretch there. You can clasp your hands around the knee and pull it in maybe a little bit more. Maybe that hip flexor really contracting the top of your thigh. 
circle your ankle on that bent knee leg, both directions. And then releasing, release your shoulders and your arms and your leg. You know the difference on the two sides. So yes, we're going to, of course, do the other. So again, sitting arms towards your heels, back chin a down, heels in towards your hips, draw your knees up towards your heart. Pass knees in, and then extend the right leg out. Just let it relax down, hip nice and open as you pull the left leg in. So knee toward your heart, just pulling it in as much or as little as your body needs, feeling that contraction right at the top of the hip joint. Take a moment for you. And exhale, tension. And then releasing your shoulders, your arms, and your leg. Take a moment, feeling the difference. And don't forget to breathe. And then again, pressing the city bones toward the heels and drawing the heels toward your hips. Knees straight up. Spread your toes on the floor. Feet hip width apart. Make sure those knees are straight up toward the ceiling. And we'll do our bridge position. Hands, palms down next to you. Push into your feet, into your back, just gently pulling that spine toward the floor, and then lifting your hips and your ribs, come into bridge. Spread your toes out, and press just gently into your arms and shoulders, coming up a little higher onto your shoulders as you're in that position. Spread out your toes, lift the hips, activate that core, and bridge. Take a moment and breathe. Make sure you're not on your neck. So just make sure the back of your head is on the floor along with your shoulders and you're supported in your shoulders, arms, and feet. Take a breath. Maybe lift the hips a little bit more. And then release your shoulders and shoulder blades and ribs and back all the way down to the floor. Take a moment there and draw your knees up toward your heart. And again, give yourself that nice forward bend, feeling what's going on for you. Take a moment and breathe as you bring your head and shoulders to the floor and your feet down. Slide your legs out. Take a moment there, recline integration. Exhale any tension. Bring your arms overhead. Shoulder width apart with your hands, feet hip width apart. Inhale, bring your hands above your shoulders, straight up toward the ceiling, palms facing. And then lead with your heart and pull your body up all the way. Reach your hands toward the ceiling and then toward your toes. Take a moment and stretch. Exhale any tension and inhale and come up onto your knees. So you can sit back with your hips onto your heels for a moment. And we're going to go into rabbit. So remember, rabbit is intense on the back of your neck. It's a big forward bend through the neck area. So we want to make sure that we don't overdo it. Do what's right for you. Come to the front on your fingertips or palms, and then tuck your toes under behind you. Feet about hip width apart, knees about hip width apart, or a little more together. And then come back with your hands around your heels, and just cup the hands there. Lift your heart, stretch your neck, and as you exhale, we're going to pivot forward and bring first the crown of your, or the forehead to the floor. And then slide up, lifting your hips, coming onto the crown. 
So tuck your chin in pretty tightly. It's a big stretch through the back of your neck. And then slide your knees further towards your forehead. Makes it hard to breathe and talk. But the more you move your knees toward your forehead, the more you can roll a little further onto the back of your head for a little more stretch on your neck. So only do what's right for you. Exhale any tension. This is supposed to be good for headaches as well as stretching your neck. So be gentle, but do what's right for your body. Lift your hips, lift your sit bones a little more if you need to, that's okay. Exhale any tension. Keep sliding those knees toward your forehead if that's working. Exhale and relax. Slide your toes down to the floor. Sink your hips back toward your heels. Untuck your chin, forehead to the floor, shoulders relaxing. And then inhale and sit up on your heels. Bring your hands to your back, a little support on that low back, and your elbows toward each other. So the heels of the palms are in up toward your shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. Elbows moving toward each other, feeling that heart expand. And then slightly lift your heart and stretch your head back just a little bit more. So don't lift the chin too high. You want it to keep stretching through the back of your neck. And then chin toward your chest, release your arms, and slide off, turning again your feet to the end of the neck. So once again, sitting bones behind you, press out through the heels, up through the toes, get that core activated, and slowly roll to your back. As you get all the way down, release your shoulders to the floor, shoulder blades down, hands palms up at your sides, and then move them out to two position. Sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down, Draw your heels up toward your sitting bones, feet flat. Press your back down a little more and lift your feet, knees up off the floor. You can keep the knees next to each other or cross one leg over and roll to the side. So the hips come down right at hip level. Your head turns toward the opposite arm and the shoulders all stay in the floor. Take a breath, coming into your twist as deeply as you want. Whenever you can pat under the knee if you need to, for a little support. Don't turn your head too much if you have neck issues. This is our twist area for the neck. And the knees coming down gives that low back a little extra twist if you love it. Keep those shoulders down to the middle back, making sure it's giving its, giving its good twist as well. And don't forget to bring the more you exhale, the more your body eases into its twist. Just deep breaths in, letting everything relax. As your body releases into its twist, just let it go, don't force it. And of course, hold it longer on your own whenever you have that opportunity. But for now, Heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. If your legs are crossed and crossed, you can straighten out if that's appropriate. And then again, knees above the hips, cross the other way if you were crossed, and draw the knees over toward the side. And again, down toward the floor as much as your knees want to go, padding if that's appropriate. Head turning as much as your neck wants for your twist on the side. Remember, always balance your body evenly when you do your yoga, allowing everything to ease and release on both sides. Exhaling tension, hands, palms up or down on this one, doesn't matter. Just letting those shoulders release into the surface beneath you as you turn your head and drop your knees. Exhaling, just deepening with the breath. 
Letting gravity do the work, never forcing your choice. And exhaling and releasing even deeper. And of course, hold it longer on your own, but for now, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, and cross and slide up those legs, coming into relaxation pose, hips position, hands palms up, shoulders down, chin slightly tight, and ankles to circle, and then Lower body softening and sinking, hands palms up, shoulders releasing, upper body relaxing as well. Deepen into your breath, releasing tension, allowing your body to soften and sink even deeper with each breath. And as your body softens and sinks, just let the earth support you, letting your body go. Each exhalation brings you deeper into that earth support, allowing you to release thoughts of your body completely. Just let them go and let your body go. And let those other thoughts come into you go as well. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. Sweet choice, whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. So let those thoughts drift away as easy as you can. Letting in, letting out, without awareness. And just allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. For the suit in order, I'm in that peace deep within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. Taking a few moments, feeling peace. So just keep relaxing as long as you have time to relax today. If it's time to return to the moment and get ready for the rest of your day, just like enjoying energy and awareness with the breath, back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And again, moving your body gently, stretch all the feels good for you. Breathing and stretching. Moving your ankles, moving your body. And whenever you're ready for your final yoga cup of appreciation, sitting arms toward your heels, pulling the heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your head. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, tapping your arms around, give yourself a kind of hug in appreciation for the work you do in yoga and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, you head and feet to the floor, and roll into the sky, go ahead and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.